Myth Busting the Quran. We are looking at proofs that the Quran came from Allah. In the year 650 AD, the most important metal was iron, because iron was the best metal for making weapons. And there is a chapter, number 57, called The Iron. Quran 57.25 We have already sent our messengers with clear evidences and sent down with them the scripture and the balance that the people may maintain their affairs in justice. And we sent down iron, wherein is great military might and benefits for the people. And so that Allah might make evident those who support him and his messengers unseen. Indeed, Allah is powerful and exalted in might. And we sent down iron. So how could a desert people have known that iron came from above? The first and most obvious answer is that they believed that Allah created everything. So everything came from Allah and everything was sent down by Allah. So you also read about rain being sent down and the Quran being sent down. But why mention iron in particular? The first metal of military value was bronze, an alloy of copper and tin. The Bronze Age was from about 4000 BC to about 1000 BC. Iron is more difficult to refine than bronze because it has a higher melting point. Bronze melts at 650 degrees centigrade, Iron at 1,540 degrees centigrade. So you need a more sophisticated furnace to refine iron from iron ore. But there's a shortcut. Iron falls from the sky. We call them ferrous meteorites, and the ancient Egyptians knew about these. There's a dagger made from meteoric iron, dated at 1,350 BC. We can tell it's meteoric, because of the proportions of iron, nickel and cobalt. And the Egyptians called it the metal of heaven, because they knew it fell from the sky. So it was known 2,000 years before the Quran was written that iron fell from the sky. The ancient Greeks and Romans also knew about ferrous meteorites and wrote about them. Iron meteors are very different from stone meteors. Metallic iron doesn't occur naturally on the Earth's surface. And that's why some ancient people worshipped them as being sent down by the god or gods. The Kaaba in Mecca contains a black stone that is considered to be meteoric. Of course, Muslims don't worship it. They just hold it in great respect. Bonus myth. I have also seen another suggestion about the Quran and iron. I have been told that since the surah on iron is number 57, it cannot be just a coincidence that the atomic weight of iron is also 57. But the atomic weight of iron is 55.8. Myth. Busted.